Imagine waking up tomorrow, stepping into your car, and watching it charge fully in just three minutes. No lithium, no long waits, sounds impossible, right? But Elon Musk has done it again. Tesla is preparing to say goodbye to lithium and hello to a new era of aluminum-ion batteries. They are cheaper, faster, and stronger. This shift could shake not just Tesla, but the entire EV world. For years, lithium has been Musk's biggest headache. It is expensive, scarce, and difficult to mine. But now he may have cracked the code with a battery that is lighter, longer-lasting, and far more affordable. Yet the question remains, can aluminum really dethrone lithium? Can it deliver the speed, the range, and the promise that Musk claims? And if Tesla succeeds, what happens to the rest of the industry? Before we answer, make sure you're subscribed because what you're about to see is the biggest revolution in EV history. But first, let's rewind. To understand where Tesla is going, you need to see where it stands today. These aren't just car batteries. They are mobile power stations engineered down to the microscopic level to drive farther, charge faster, and last longer. Right now, Tesla runs on two main types of batteries. The first is lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, which powers affordable models like the Model 3 and Model Y, especially in Asia. These packs are safer, longer-lived, and budget-friendly. They are heavier, yes, and with a little less range, but perfect for cost-conscious buyers. Then there's the heavyweight nickel-cobalt aluminum, or NCA. Built with Panasonic, these batteries fuel Tesla's premium machines, the Model S, the Model X, and even the Cybertruck. High energy density means more power in less space and more miles on the road, but they come with a trade-off, sensitive cooling and demanding upkeep. Now let's step into Tesla's crown jewel, the 4680 cell. Elon Musk calls it a game-changer, and for good reason. The secret is in the name, 46 mm wide, 80 mm tall. These bigger cells are packed with many times the power of the old 2170s and able to charge at lightning speed. But here's the twist. This battery isn't just inserted into the car. It becomes the car. The cells are built right into the vehicle's structure, boosting strength, cutting weight, and unlocking performance like never before. To build them, Tesla turned to dry electrode technology, a breakthrough that slashes production costs and accelerates manufacturing. In factories across the globe, these batteries are rolling out en masse for the Model Y and the Cybertruck. It's part of Musk's vision to make batteries so cheap that one day buying a Tesla will feel no different than buying a smartphone. Now pause and imagine. If Tesla's present is already this advanced, what happens when the same company leaps beyond lithium into aluminum ion? The entire auto industry won't just feel a ripple, it will feel an earthquake. This is where the next chapter of EV technology begins. So how does it work? What makes aluminum ions so special? The name may sound complex, but the idea is simple. Replace lithium with aluminum and gain a world of benefits. First, remember the basics. Every battery has two sides, a positive cathode and a negative anode. Bam the borsi, one dead at a danberber and a borishensen. Then the borin dli, desh tedinburek ton chpal, I do bit in den, on door stands, on the borin doin, in. One the worst and bore between. When your phone, laptop, or car powers up, ions race in one direction, releasing energy. When you charge, they flow back, filling the tank. In lithium ion cells, those ions come from lithium, a metal that's expensive, rare, and harmful to mine. That's the bottleneck. So, scientists asked, why not use a metal that's everywhere, one that's light, cheap, and allows ions to move incredibly fast? And that's where aluminum entered the story. So, how exactly does an aluminum ion battery work? Picture this, on one side, you've got a sheet of aluminum foil. Yeah, the same kind you find in your kitchen, only it's purified and engineered for precision. That's the anode, the negative side. On the other side, there's a wafer-thin layer of graphene, a form of carbon that's so strong and so conductive, it acts like a superhighway for ions. When you plug in to charge, aluminum ions rush from the foil anode to the graphene cathode. Then, when you unplug and hit the road, they race back, releasing energy. No explosions, no dangerous chain reactions. Just clean, controlled power, and at speeds that sound almost unreal. Aluminum ion batteries can charge up to 60 times faster than lithium. Imagine this, if your lithium pack takes an hour, aluminum could be full in just one or two minutes, in some prototypes, just 90 seconds. By the time you grab a coffee, your car could be road ready. And, it doesn't stop there. While lithium cells fade after one or two thousand charge cycles, aluminum ion batteries can endure more than 10,000 without risk of overheating, without the shadow of fire. 
Aluminum is everywhere, endlessly recyclable, and far safer to source than lithium, which is expensive, scarce, and destructive to mine. Lightweight by nature, aluminum makes the entire pack leaner, boosting efficiency and extending range. It's cheaper, too. No cobalt, no rare metals, no complicated processing, and it stays cool under pressure, unlike lithium packs notorious for fires and breakdowns. So, why isn't every EV running on aluminum already? Well, the answer is scale. Mass production just hasn't yet caught up. But, you know, companies like Tesla are racing to make it a reality. Give it two to three years, and once the manufacturing hurdles fall, lithium's reign may be over. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a revolution. Aluminum ion could make cars faster, safer, and more affordable while reshaping the entire battery industry. For years, lithium has worn the crown of the EV world, powering Tesla's driving range into the thousands and helping the industry break free from fossil fuels. But now, the throne is shaking. The question is simple. Has Elon Musk found the successor? Lithium, light, reactive, and once hailed as the miracle metal of the EV revolution, powered the dream of going electric. But, you know, success comes with a price. As demand soared, so did the cost. And when demand becomes unstoppable, two things always follow. Prices skyrocket and shortages begin. That's exactly what's happening now. Think about it. Every Tesla on the road carries hundreds of kilograms of lithium. Multiply that by millions of cars a year, and the supply crunch becomes clear. But here's the catch. Lithium mines are limited, scattered mostly across China, Australia, Chile, and Argentina. Which means the future of every EV brand depends on a handful of countries, and whenever there's conflict, politics, or a trade war, the price of lithium shoots up. Elon Musk saw the writing on the wall, he even called it out. The lithium situation was gripping the EV industry. His warning was blunt, unless an alternative is found, electric cars won't get cheaper, they'll only become more expensive. And that's when aluminum stepped onto the stage. Why aluminum? Simple. It's abundant, cheap, lightweight, and everywhere. Unlike lithium, it's not locked up in a few nations. From America to India, from Africa to Brazil, aluminum is almost universal. It's easier to mine, easier to process, and safer for the planet. And when built into batteries, it does what lithium never could, charge in as little as 90 seconds. It's cool, stable, and fire-resistant. No explosions, no waiting hours to top up. A win for companies and a blessing for consumers. But why the urgency? Because Tesla isn't just a car company, it's a battery company. Its power walls, megapacks, and grid solutions depend on energy storage just as much as its vehicles. Musk knew that if Tesla stayed chained to lithium, the entire empire could wobble. So, he turned his engineers loose on next-generation chemistry, and the results are already here. So, is lithium finished? Not quite. It won't vanish overnight, but its throne is slipping. As aluminum ion steps closer to mass production, lithium may survive only in niche high-end applications. The crown of mainstream electric vehicles, however, is already tilting toward aluminum. It's cheaper, faster, and more reliable. And the ripple effect? Panic. Ever since Musk's aluminum ion tests showed stunning results rival automakers have been losing sleep. The industry, long comfortable with lithium, suddenly feels the ground shifting beneath its feet. Toyota, the giant once content with hybrids, is scrambling. Known for its caution, Toyota avoided rushing into pure electric vehicles, but the moment they learned Musk's team was preparing an aluminum-ion breakthrough, the gears started turning. Labs in Japan are being refitted, old lithium projects upgraded and prototypes of fast-charging aluminum cells are quietly being tested. Toyota knows the stakes. Ignore this revolution and Tesla will leave them in the dust again. BYD the Blade Battery Champion has built its empire on safety and cost efficiency. Their blade design was considered revolutionary but aluminum ion threatens to make it obsolete overnight. Tesla's prototypes charge faster way less and promise even greater safety. Reports suggest BYD's engineers are already deep into their own aluminum research and development. The question isn't if they'll pivot, it's whether they can do it before Tesla sets the new standard. Even the giants have noticed. Companies like Rio Tinto Alcoa and Hindalco are scaling back lithium